to everyone. My name is Maria Gorbachevi, and I am pleased to welcome you at our session, uh, the last session with Alexia Sule that you have known um, already because she uh, she has given the session. And um, today it is the last one, and this session will be devoted to magic mindfulness. Magic mindfulness is something that it makes us very curious. Those who knows what is mindfulness, this is uh, a subject that you know very well, but there are maybe some who don't know what is the mindfulness. So Alexia, I'm happy to see you and would like to introduce our colleagues uh, who are many, many to join our session today. And could you please uh, briefly introduce yourself for those who don't, don't know you yet and to tell us how it will be uh, the session structure today. Thank you very much. Have a nice uh, and very interesting session with Alexia. Thank you, Maria. Hello, everyone. Welcome to all. I'm very happy also to be here with you today. So we are going to talk about mindfulness today. Uh, just a few words to introduce myself for those who don't know me. Um, so I am a professional coach. I graduated with a Master of International Management at Neuma Business School. And I founded my company last year and uh, after 12 years working in mass consumption for global corporations. So today we are going to talk about mental energy dimension that we saw in the conference last May, how to boost my energy daily. And we will see this little practice of mindfulness and the powerful of mindfulness to level your energy, mental energy dimension. The intention is to discover mindfulness and to practice it in order to help you to be better equipped to level your, your um, to level your energy uh, in mental dimension. Just before starting, could you please check your in a comfortable position and let's take three deep breaths. Take three deep breaths and then notice your thoughts. Pay attention to your body and to your feelings. And please tell me in the chat, how do you feel? I am going to share my screen. And you can tell me if you feel A, B, C, D, E, or F. How do you feel at this moment? See the chat. I hear chat. Yeah. D. B, D, E, F, E, D. Good. Thank you. Thank you. It's a good exercise just to have a moment to reflect on how we feel. Good. Thank you. Thank you all. So what's the program today? Today, we are going to talk about mindfulness. What is mindfulness? We are going to explore some mindfulness activities to anchor new rituals to increase your level of mental energy. And then we will see benefits of mindfulness for you at work and at home. And then as usual, you will have a time to elaborate an individual action plan and then we will have time for questions before concluding. So let's start with mindfulness. What is mindfulness? Mindfulness 
is paying attention to the present moment by focusing on a specific topic with openness, curiosity, and acceptance. Mindfulness is about developing the ability to be fully attentive to all the moment of your life, reducing the amount of time you spend worrying about the future and fretting about the past. Just to experience mindfulness, we are going to make a little exercise to focus on the place you are at this moment. So please look at the place around you. How does it like? How do you feel in that space? Pay attention to the colors you can see, to furniture, what emotion is raising, Do you like that space where you are at this moment? Pay attention on what you can hear, what you can smell. And finally, one sensation that you have at this moment in this environment. This is a first experience of mindfulness, focusing on you and on your environment. Why mindfulness is a magic means? It's a magic means to prevent mind overload. Physical health matters. As an individual, we are indivisible. Mindfulness recognizes это, да, это поэтому не ясно, почему они это делают у вас. Может быть, это и все, но я не понимаю, почему они делают это у вас. Ну, смотри, расходы на знание это самая большая чарчика. I'm sorry, I, I think we, we can hear someone. Just I, I, um, I was saying that Mindfulness recognizes that mental health matters as much as physical health. Our mind is connected to our body and to our feelings. Sometimes at work, we run after time. We go from one meeting to another one all day long. We have a lot of things and a lot of thoughts in our head. Between work and personal requirements, to be effective, sometimes we can have the feeling to act like a robot. After at work, have you ever thought, I'm going to go crazy if this situation goes on? Maybe because of complexity, maybe because of stress, work overload, interpersonal relations and so on. The intention of mindfulness is to allow to control our thoughts when our thoughts are taking too much importance. It helps to, refo to refocus on ourselves when we lose control of our actions, reactions, and behavior. Mindfulness helps to prevent mental load by being focused on the present time, on the present moment by stopping doing things automatically like a robot, and by being focused on the present task, one thing at a time. We often think that multitasking means more productivity. That's wrong. Multitasking increases the risk of errors, decrease focus and reduce efficiency. It's really hard to admit, I know that, but doing a single task is the way to give your best to a task. Of course, you'll manage several things in a day, but try to do one thing at a time. 
It helps reducing mind overload, contributes to your well being, mindfulness and single tasking, increases productivity, decision making, and problem solving. It reduces the risk of errors. Imagine all these plates that you can see in this picture are the number of thoughts, tasks, and priorities every day you try to keep these plates spinning. What's the risk? How much attention can you dedicate to each task? What could be the impact on decision-making, on creativity to find solutions when you have all the other tasks and, and thoughts spinning in your head? Mindfulness is the ability to focus on one thing at a time to increase your efficiency. Managing several projects is not a problem. The problem appears when you lose full focus on what you are doing or on the meeting you are attending. Single tasking is a better way toward a clear mind, efficiency and well-being. We are going to do an exercise. If you can take a piece of paper and write on this piece of paper, numbers from one to 26. You can do it now. You write numbers from one to 26. If you have finished it, I'm sure it was easy, a very easy exercise. For now, we are going to do it again. But this time, you are going to write a letter and then a number from A1 to Z26. A1, B2, C3, and so on, until Z26. <clears throat> Try to do it now. And tell me in the chat, how was it? Was it still easy? Probably it was harder and the risk of error, errors increase. Easy but slower, yeah, more complex. Yes, absolutely. This, thank you. This is an exercise to reflect, I have to think, yeah. This is an exercise to reflect on the fact that our brain is more effective when we focus on one thing. Harder than the first one, absolutely, have to be focused. Thank you. So mindfulness is a magic means to prevent mind overload, but not only. Mindfulness is a magic means to experience more serenity. How, how we experience more serenity with mindfulness is by being focused on the here and now. And by being focused on yourself, on your body, on your feelings, you offer your mind a rest, which is fundamental for a mind recovery. When your mind recover, you fuel mind's energy. Meditation, is probably the most powerful mindfulness activity to experience more well-being. Studies show that meditation releases pleasure hormones like dopamine and generates well-being. We will experience meditation later in the conference. 
Meditation is not the only way to practice mindfulness and access serenity. We are going to see different activities that can be associated to mindfulness practicing or where we can develop mindfulness approach. You probably naturally experience and practice mindfulness during leisure time. For example, when you connect with nature, like gardening or walking in nature, it appears our thoughts. We are focused on, on the plants or we are focused on, on the forest, for example. And this way, it appears our thoughts. We can more easily focus on the here and now. We experience mindfulness. You can do it also when reading or listening to music. When you're concentrated on a book or on a music, it appears our thoughts. Probably you have ever experienced it. We give our minds a rest by being focused just on one thing. Another way to practice mindfulness and to experience mindfulness is when doing a creative activity. When you, you focus on creative activity, you are focused on two things, your creation and on your feelings. This way, you are on, on openness, you are on curiosity of what can happen during this creation. And then it's a moment of mindfulness and it appears your, your thoughts. When you do sport, like swimming and dancing, you're experiencing mindfulness. You're fully focused on your effort, on your pleasure, on your body, and it appears your mind. You naturally restrain your thoughts that usually navigate between the past and the future. You're fully focused on the moment and on yourself. It's a precious time for your mind recovery. And finally, mindfulness can amplify relaxation at home when you consciously practice it. When you hug your child, your pet, when you prepare or eat dinner. You have the ability at this moment to be fully present and to notice the pleasure of these situations. Mindfulness is taking control of your mind by focusing on the present moment. This way you will reduce the number of thoughts in your head that take you a lot of energy. You can even practice mindfulness while eating a piece of chocolate. So let's experience the situation. Maybe you have a piece of chocolate with you as written in the invitation. If yes, you can take out the chocolate and hold it. For those who don't have a chocolate, don't worry. You can pretend as if you had one. It's more difficult, but you can follow the exercise. So look at this piece of chocolate. Notice the color, notice the form. Is it large, long, thin? Is there a picture on it? Notice sensation you have when looking at this chocolate. What happens in your head? What do you feel in your body? 
what emotion is coming up? And now you can close your eyes and smell the piece of chocolate. How do you feel at this moment? And now you can let it melt in your mouth. You are slowly severing the chocolate. Can you recognize the form of the piece of chocolate? Notice the taste. Is it soft, sugared, bitter? And pay attention to your feelings and your body. How do you feel at this moment? What sensations do you notice in regard to your body? Maybe you can feel good vibration throughout your whole body. Take your time to appreciate this moment and keep focusing on the piece of chocolate. And then tell me in the chat, how do you feel at this moment after this exercise? Relaxed, thank you. Lovely, yet he is a bit relaxed. Warm and pleasant. Happy. Great. Thank you for these sharings. Enjoying it more than usual. Yes, that's really the point of mindfulness is that we, we do a lot of things and sometimes we take a piece of chocolate. We absolutely know that it's very severing, but we don't take time to sever it. And it's, an, it's interesting because it's uh, an experience of the present time and to take benefit of the present moment. And when you think at your piece of chocolate and eating your piece of chocolate, it's a rest for your mind because all you put aside all your thoughts at, just at this moment. It's... Uh, it's a parenthesis. Yes. Thank you. We are going to see now how to ramp up mindfulness in a day. All day long, at home and at work, you can practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is not a question of time. It's a question of being conscious of the present time and to be to deeply focus on what we're doing with openness, curiosity, and acceptance without judgment. You can implement simple rituals to develop mindfulness and your well being. In the morning, before getting out of bed, take just a few seconds to focus on the present moment. One deep breath, you can stretch, you can drink water and focus on your feelings, on your body, on the here and now. Reflect on how you feel with acceptance, whatever you feel at this moment. Don't 
think about the task to do, the meeting you have this day, no, just on this present moment and on yourself. If you have time in the morning, it's a really great opportunity to read, to do sport, to do meditation, to fuel your energy. The morning can be a great, great opportunity to take care of you before starting a day where you are going to take care of others or of your job. Then you go outside. And when you go outside, you can focus on the weather. On the sky, you can observe if the moon is still there, for example. You can look at the trees. You can, maybe you can observe if you can see birds, if you can hear birds. Take the time to appreciate and connect with your environment. This way you will renew your mind energy. You can notice your feeling at this moment and listen to your body without judgment and with acceptance, whatever you feel. Mm -hmm. Doing that, just take 30 seconds a day. With practice, you will experience benefit for your mind's energy. Paying attention to feelings is a powerful way to ramp up mindfulness because you're focused on yourself, on your feelings, on your body, and you give your mind time to recover because, because at this time you restrain the number of thoughts in your head. Then, you arrive at work or when you connect with people on teleworking, at the moment when you say hello to your colleague, focus on this hello. Be present when you say hello. It takes the same time as if you said hello quickly just to be polite. Maybe sometimes it happens that you forget to say hello just because you're already focused on the meetings and tasks to be done today. It's not good for your mind energy. The important is to be fully present in the moment and not just physically present with your head thinking about the future or about the past and a lot of thoughts that you can have. It's the same while having a coffee morning with colleagues Make the most of this pleasant moment. Be present, fully focused on the benefits of your coffee and sharing a pleasant time with your colleagues. Forget your mobile phone if you can, for example, at this moment. Just focus on the moment. Then maybe you have meetings. Before a meeting, you can take 30 seconds to take a deep breath and prepare your mind to be focused only on the subject of the meeting. By taking a deep breath and focusing on it, you will naturally put aside all the other things you have in your head for a moment. And you can do this anytime it's necessary before each meeting, for example. It's like a reset ritual to clear your mind. This way you give a quick recovery to your mind. It's good for your well-being and good for meeting efficiency. And when you notice that your mind is wandering, don't judge, just come back to the meeting. To help you to keep focused on a meeting, maybe you can sometimes put aside your mobile phone, close your computer, if possible, or turn off the chat, for example, just to evacuate all that things that um, restrain the focus. And if you lead a meeting, 
maybe you can let one minute to participants to clear their mind and be totally present and participated. It's not easy to put in place, but it's very effective. Then, um, on a day, maybe sometimes you need a break. I hope so. I recommend you to have breaks. Uh, and you need to eat something. You can also practice mindfulness at this moment. It means to be focused on the moment and take the most of it. If you want to snack, for example, don't look at a computer, don't work, don't read, and don't look at your mobile phone at this moment. If you snack, it probably means that you need to renew your physical energy. Take time to be focused on your meal or on your piece of chocolate or on your biscuit. Probably your mind needs also to renew one's energy. It's important to make the most of this break. If your break is effective, you will renew your energy and you'll be more effective after for your work to do. In the last company I worked in, I used to snack a little uh, chocolate bar. Um, and when I finished my chocolate bar, I was disappointed. I was surprised to have finished it so quickly. I wasn't in the moment. My head was focused on the work to do. My body was tired and I needed to move. My head probably wanted a real break to recover and I compensated these needs with this delicious chocolate bar. I'm sure today, because I experience it myself and with my personal clients, that if I have taken one, two or three minutes to eat that chocolate bar, focused on the pleasure of it, and if I had taken one deep breath and stretch, I would have had an effective, quick recovery, and I would have finished my work with less stress, clearer mind, and more efficiency. Another mindfulness powerful ritual could be to have a walk after a working day in a park or in nature or just in the street and you can notice your environment. This way you will focus on what you're looking at and allow your mind to recover and fuel your energy for home. At home or during leisure time, you can practice creativity, drawing, doing sport, doing something you can focus on and brings you pleasure. Of course, last but not least, meditation is probably the most powerful means of accessing mindfulness. From one minute to one hour, whatever, the most important is to practice meditation regu regularly um, and take all the benefits of it. Repetition is the most important to anchor a ritual and to take the most of his benefits. I suggest you to experience one minute meditation. I'm going to give you in the chat the, the link so that you can do it now and tell me just after, how do you feel? I let you watch this meditation and experience this meditation now.
and welcome to Headspace. So racing around your mind. It emptied the mind. That's really the objective to reduce mind overload. Release the, the moment to clear mind and take a rest. Thank you. <laughs> you need more. Thank you. Another person want to share how was the experience? forgot to say close your eyes. Yes, it's better to experience meditation, create meditation before going to bed. I sleep longer, yeah. And deeper, it is so effective. Pleasant moment, thank you. Thank you. That's great. And for those who are not used to practice meditation, I invite you to try one minute meditation or three minute meditation, but just a just few minutes. Um, it's, it's a good way to, to practice and to, to start meditation. I like, uh, in, in French, uh, les trois minutes à méditer de Christophe André, uh, que je trouve uh, intéressante pour commencer la méditation. To start meditation uh, in French, uh, three minutes to meditate by Christophe André. Uh, and then the application, Petit Bambou. Uh, we have seen some stories about uh, Petit Bambou, in Petit Bambou, and uh, it's a good application also. But there are a lot of other uh, videos on, the, on meditation. Great. So what are the benefits at work and at home? You have said one in, in the chat here. Um, the benefits at work, mindfulness at work helps to, to feel good and to be fully focused. Um, it improves better decision-making as everyone is focused on a task and stop doing other things at the same time. It facilitates problem solving for the same reasons. It helps, mindfulness helps a better management of complexity thanks to a clear mind and to the acceptance of the here and now. If you have mind, if you feel mind overload and if you are faced with a lot of complexity, it's a lot for our brain. It's a lot 
for our minds. And it takes a lot of mind energy. So if you can, in front of complexity, if you can have a clear mind, thanks to mindfulness, it can be very helpful for your well-being. It mindfulness helps to develop, to facilitate creativity and innovation, thanks to this clear mind and the focus. And it helps to have fewer sick days for mind and work overload. At home, for yourself, what are the benefits of mindfulness? The, one of the bigger benefits is that you have a better control of your mind to increase serenity, to experience serenity. Mindfulness will help you to access to a clear mind, which improve your mind energy. Mind overload is decreasing and under control. It will generate less stress and it will have positive impact on your emotional energy with probably serenity and more joy and a positive impact on your physical energy. It might increase quality of sleep, for instance, and less body tensions. You can write just for yourself which of these areas mentioned that you would like to improve in at work or at home and where mindfulness could help you. You can just write it just for you, what you would like to improve and how, how mindfulness could help you. And now, so what do you realize about mindfulness practicing or activity if you can share? No sharings about what do you realize? It's not that difficult. Yes, absolutely. You just need to take time to focus. That is hard work, but it's very simple. Just with practicing and repetition, it's very easy. Yes, mindfulness helps taking a mental break which is often more important than physical, uh, totally agree. No resources needed. The difficulty is to be focused. At the beginning, it's really an effort to do mindfulness, to practice mindfulness and to be focused. And then with practicing, it would, it would be natural. I'm surprised to see the efficiency. The video was shot, but so effective. Right, thank you. Need to remember to practice regularly. Yeah. Good, thank you. So now I give you one minute just to write some, something that you would like to put in place to anchor some uh, mindfulness rituals on a daily basis. What would be efficient for you? And I can take questions, if you have questions. 
before we conclude. Now, do you have any questions about mindfulness and morning stretch? And physical activity as a routine. Physical activity is my routine since two years. And um, I have to say that it's um, really efficient for well being. In my experience, of course. Mm, yes, mentioned this before sleeping and before waking up. Any tip how to think first? Mindfulness in a difficult moment. Such a shortcut. How to think first about meditation? In difficult moment, the difficulty in difficult moment is to identify that you are in difficult moments. And sometimes we are, we think we are strong and this is going to happen. So the situation is okay. And uh, it's important to, to listen to, to us um, and to reflect and to, to reflect and do the exercise that we have done at the beginning of the conference, um, which is to just to take 10 seconds to connect to your feelings and uh, to ask yourself, how do I feel? And maybe at this moment, uh, you will identify that it's a difficult moment. And then you know that in difficult moments, what is effective for you, maybe it's one minute meditation, then you can do it. But the real difficulty is to identify that moment where you need a resource that you know now um, to help you. I will head to my Outlook calendar five minutes slot. Wait some minutes. Yeah. One thing at a time. Right. Okay, good. So we are going uh, on conclusion. And um, would you like to, to give a word um, about mindfulness? Just one thing um, about how you live, uh, how you live of this conference. I'm awake. If you have just a word to conclude, and then I'm going to conclude. Wait a bit before you hit it. Yes. Wait a bit before you hit a chocolate. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Martinez. Okay, so I am going to use your senses. I reminded me, it reminded me to do it more often. We deserve it. Oh, absolutely, you deserve it. Yes, we'll give you links for your advice. Okay, well, thank you. So to conclude, mindfulness is a very powerful means to protect oneself from mental overload and to find work-life balance and serenity. It helps to improve work and personal well-being. Mindfulness practicing is simple 
as we said, but it requires training to get a long-term benefit. Don't forget that encoring a new ritual can take several days, several weeks, and several, several months. Um, it's not a problem. Just don't discourage about that. And uh, you'll manage to do it. And uh, you will feel all the benefits. Thanks to thanks to. Thank you all for your participation. Uh, I was very happy to facilitate all this conference about well-being. I hope that you feel better equipped uh, with some resources. Um, if not, don't hesitate uh, to contact r and or to contact me. Uh, if we can help you, it would be a pleasure. Thank you very much. Maria, maybe you would like to give a word of conclusion? Yes, of course. Thank you very much. I would like to thank you very much uh, on behalf of our trade union and on behalf of all colleagues who joined us today. Uh, I saw that it was a very, very um, uh, interactive, even if in virtual way, because we had received a lot of uh, comments and um, the colleagues uh, shared with us uh, uh, the impression and evaluation, etc. Thank you very much. It, thanks to your uh, conference, we could uh, increase awareness of the powerful of mindfulness. What, how we can practice every day? It's not very easy to uh, every day to be focused uh, for the long time, but a short period. And I think that um, the colleagues are aware of that and. Uh, they uh, shared with us this experience that the, 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 they decided to do uh, the stop every day five minutes or three minutes. We can always start a day with a very nice music. For me, it's very useful. Uh, if we can't go to the um, to the for the walk and we can we don't have time and we are working on something and report and and and. And document, we can use the music. It's it's very helpful. I'm doing that. There are a lot of choice on the internet. And Pity Bamboo is always very, very good. I just put the name, somebody is asked to me, uh, was asked for, for the name. And um, of course, it's um, very useful to, to go for the meditation classes. But if we don't have time, we can do every day by ourselves five minutes, we can start with one minute, two minutes, three minutes. For me, it's very complicated, but I mean, it's, it's a good, uh, it's good to, uh, to do, to start it. So Alexia, it was our last session. Um, really, really, I cry a great thanks to you. Merci beaucoup, merci. Uh, si vous voulez poser des questions à Alexia, n'hésitez pas à la contacter. Vous pouvez aussi nous contacter. Peut-être un jour, on va faire des méditations guidées, mais bon, ça c'est à voir. C'est un, un, on a tout un projet encore de, de conférences et, et de support que nous souhaitons euh, apporter à nos collègues. So thank you very much, and I can. Just tell you that it was wonderful to have you with us during these four sessions. Thank you, Alexia. And thank, thank you very much. And have a, have a great job. continuation with your career of coach. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Maria. Thank, thank you for your trust. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.